Hey, what's up? My name is Taklas, and today we're going to be looking at another boss fight tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at modifying the generic enemy brain, which can be found in the goblins or in the brain gallery, and turn that, with a few small changes, into a pretty formidable boss fight. Now, we've already made enough changes to this guy that I'm going to start with a new brain. I'm going to grab the good old generic goblin, put him down, and let's open up his brain. Now first, I'm going to run through what this brain means, because it may look fairly confusing to you. So first, the first line, we're assigning this this creature to the enemy team of two. Now, it's not always team two, but every team is hostile to other teams unless you specify <clears throat> that they're friendly to each other. So, since our player is team one, team two is hostile to them. Next, uh, when enemies are the nearest object or player neutrals nearest object pretty much is just identifying who their enemy is or they're assigning the enemy variable to it meaning it being the player or whatever enemy that pops up this could be any team one team three four five six whatever creature object appears they'll go and attack it then when distance two this is the uh, object variable when distance to my enemy is less than 20 and the distance is greater than 2 move toward my enemy this way they will move toward the enemy if they're 20 feet out or less but when they get within 2 feet they'll stop so they can do their attack then the countdown for pause attack pause attack is defined here as a random number between 1 and 3 so every one to three seconds, pause attack loops. Then distance when the distance to my enemy is less than or equal to or less than two, which if you remember up here, he'll stop moving it to. He will attack light the enemy with a windup and end combo. <clears throat> so that's the uh, generic enemy brain, and we're going to be going over it as quickly as reasonably possible to modify it into a pretty impressive and tough to beat boss fight. So a couple of things that you could do right away if you wanted to make him tougher you could always increase this number so that he'll find you and come at you a little bit farther away. You can modify the move towards speed so at speed I think the goblin defaults to 5 if I remember right so we're gonna set this to like 7. This way he comes at you much faster then for the pause attack first what we're going to do is we modify how fast this person attacks one to three is pretty darn slow so we're going to put point three which is near instantaneous to one. Oh, come on where's the page here it is one this way the attacks come fast and quick and without a lot of break in between the most break you'll ever get is one full second which is not much then let's go to this attack line and attack light uh, that's all right but you should also throw attack medium now when you do attack light and medium and follow it up with end combo which is important assuming that the player holds still he will attack light and then immediately follow up with a heavy attack or a medium here you could also throw in heavy but that's that's pretty overkill but you know you can always do that in case the player is being stupid they can just take a beating then if you want to be truly devious like ruthlessly devious you remove this line the wind up means that the goblin pulls his arm back and like swings for about a second maybe or less than that and then hits the player this gives the player time to avoid the attack now if you remove this the goblin just attacks. No wind up, no warning, nothing. It's pretty ruthless. But if you want a tough boss, take that out. So simple as that. We've changed this brain from a boring enemy to a pretty tough boss. Now we've gone through in another video settings, but I'm gonna really quickly go through them here to modify the important ones. We're gonna go to health and defenses, starting health. Let's do, let's see, one, Oh, are you kidding? I just got a new keyboard. I swear it only messes up when I'm recording. So we're going to put 150. 
Hit reactions, turn these all off. And let's see. Let's check to see how powerful melee is. Melee is pretty weak, so let's bump that up to 5, 10, and 15. So if the player takes the brunt of all three attacks, he will take 30 damage, which is actually a lot. So, let's see how tough this guy is. If you've ever played Project Spark, you know how pathetic that normal goblin is. So this will be quite a bit of effort change. Now, he's fast. He's actually faster than... Oh, I also have my other boss to deal with. Let me get rid of my other boss. There we go. He's out of the way. So I'm just going to hold... Oh, hit, hit, and heavy. Now, if you look, that is some severe damage. Now, I'm going to run away, get healed. If you want to learn how to make the shops, that's in another tutorial. But he's fast and he's tough. And then when I start getting aggressive, I can attack him and he'll just keep hurting me. Which makes him a pretty wicked boss. Now, in future tutorials coming up, we're going to start looking at boss abilities rather than just giving them a faster attack. Oh, looks like I did kill him. We're going to give him the ability to teleport, give him the ability to shoot back, give him the ability to block, all that kind of stuff. Very important stuff, which is coming up in a future tutorial, but I just want to get this quick one out there. And